e, nachukua nafasi hii ya kuwakaribisha tena katika ibada yetu hii leo na nataka kuchukua nafasi hii pia ya kuwashukuru wote ambao mnao tutazama na Mungu apate kwa bariki sana na leo tunataka tuendelee mahali tulikuwa tumewachilia e, wiki iliyokuwa nataka tukapate kuendelea pale pale amini unabarikiwa sana na kabla nataka tukapate kuomba Baba Mungu wetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru Bwana Mfame na kushukuru kwa wakati huu na kushukuru kwa ajili ya neno lako na kushukuru kwa yule yote ambaye naye nitazama Mungu wetu Baba na Mungu kwa neno hili ambalo linakuja tunaomba likapate kutubadilisha kutuponya na kutuinua Mungu wetu Bwana Asante Bwana Mfalme Mfalme Mungu wetu na ni katika jina la Yesu tunaomba tukiamini Amen Basi nataka tukapate kuzungumzia umuhimu wa mawimbi na mahali tulikuwa tumewachia ni wiki jana tulikuwa tumeona umuhimu wa mawimbi na saingine huwa unapitia mambo magumu unapitia changamoto unashindwa hapa ni kuna faida gani nitaenda kupata na kila jambo lolote katika maisha ni mwetu chochote Mungu analeta ina muhimu katika maisha ni mwetu na pia changamoto tunayokutana nayo katika maisha ni mwetu yana muhimu yana faida sana katika maisha ni mwetu na hii faida ni gani na tukaweza kuona kwamba katika matendo ya mitume 27 mstari wa 40 na moja mpaka pale mwisho tukaona kwamba Paulo akiwa ni mfungwa na akiwa anaelekezwa pande nyingine nyingine kwenda kushtakiwa akiwa katikati ya walinzi ama askari na akiwa katika chombo ama kwa bahari nani na wakiwa wanaelekezwa pande ile nyingine kuweza kwenda kushtakiwa na maandiko inasema kwamba kukatokea mawimbi katikati ya bahari na hapo tuliweza kuona kitu ndani ya bahari bahari ni nini tuliona bahari ni dunia hii yote vile ilivyo na wote tuko homo ndani na katika hii dunia ina misukosuko ina mawimbi hiyo ndio tuliweza kuona na tukaona chombo ni nini tukaona chombo ni wokovu ule ambao tuliletewa na Bwana Yesu Kristo ya kwamba kwamba tunapokaa ndani ya Yesu Kristo tukiwa hapa duniani kabla hatujatoka mbinguni tukiwa hapa duniani kuna changamoto zitutapatana nazo so tukiwa ndani ya wokovu na mawimbi yanapotupata basi tutaenda kushinda na tukaona kwamba sasa Paulo akiwa mule kwa chombo akiwa pamoja na wafungwa wenzake na askari na askari kusudi lao ilikuwa ni kwamba wakapate kuwaua maana baada mawimbi yalipo kuja wakaona hao watu wanaanza ogelea watoke wakasema watutawaua so mule Paulo ako katika hatari na ambapo hata kama ni wewe siju ungefanya nini ungesema ni heri nijinyonge ndio nakuta wakati huo wakati watu wanapata wanapatana na changamoto ama shida fulani mtu badala ya kuvumilia angoje anataka kujimaliza kujiharakishia nakuta mtu waja mimi nijinyonge nitoke pengine unafanya kazi unakuta kuna changamoto zinaanza pale wa mkubwa wako ako, ako kwako kila wakati kila wakati suluhisho utasema ni nini wacha nichukue karatasi na kalamu ni resign nitoke katika hiyo kazi ni muachie don't do that usifanye hivyo ka gwanda ngojea tulia uone mawimbi atakutupa wapi haleluya ngojea uone hiyo shida hiyo hali itakurusha wapi usiwe mtu mwepesi wa kutoka nje ngojea kwanza tulia kwanza lakini shida ambayo tuko nayo tunataka tutoke nje tunataka tujisaidie kwanza usijisaidie usisaidie Mungu nini saidie Mungu kazi tulia kwanza pumzika kaa ndani ya mawimbi mradi uko ndani ya kile chombo ukiwa kwa chombo usiwe na wasiwasi paulo akiwa ndani ya chombo alikuwa na wasiwasi akaambia wenzake fanyeni hivi msijaribu kutoka katika hiki chombo kaeni hapa ndani ndani na yule atatoka nje ataenda kuangamia atakufa so ndio nakuta kwamba tunapokaa ndani ya wokovu na tunakutana na changamoto wapendwa tuna ushindi maana ni Yesu anatubeba ni Yesu anatusaidia So akawaambia mkae hapo hapo. So tukaona ya kwamba wakati hali iliendelea kuwa mbaya, tuliona wale walinzi walikuwa wamewalinda, wale askari walikuwa wanataka kuwaua. 
hawakuonekana tena walitorushwa nje kupitia kwa yale mawimbi Mungu analeta shida point number 1 ama hatua na ya kwanza Mungu analeta shida anapokuletea shida anakuletea dhoruba na kuletea mawimbi katika maisha ni mwako kusukuma yale mambo ambayo yamekushikilia hayatupe kando maana akiwasipoleta wao wataendelea kukufata tu wale askari wangeendelea kukaa tu kwa Paulo kumlinda kumlinda wafanye vile wanataka lakini akaleta mawimbi mawimbi yalipokuwa na lipoendelea kuzidi ndio hao askari wakatupwa nje wakatoka so storms comes to separate us from our enemy number one, hiyo ndio point tulikuwa nayo number two, also storms come to elevate us or to lift us yanakuja kutuinua yanapokuja yanakutoa mahali upo yanakuweka katika hatua nyingi yanakuweka katika hatua nyingine ndio tunaona hapo hapo katika matendo ya mitume mahali tulisoma 27 mstari ule 48 ya na moja tunaona ya kwamba sasa wakati ilipozidi mawimbi yalipozidi ile chombo ikikakatika vipande vipande those guys walikaa katika ile chombo na wakaenda wakabebwa na mawimbi mpaka ngambo ile nyingine Hallelujah. So storms they are come when they come they will come to carry you to another level. Hallelujah. Unatupwa katika hatua nyingi, hatua nyingine. It is only in the storm. But without the storm you will remain where you were. Utaendelea kulia, utaendelea kuteseka, utaendelea kuangaikia hapo mahali pamoja pamoja. Lakini wanapokuja inakufuruga, yanakufuruga yakikuchota, yakikupeleka pande ile nyingine. Sometimes God allows storms to come to promote us. Hallelujah. Lakini utakuta kwamba wakati Mungu anapofanya kazi ndani yetu, we tunaanza kulia, tunaanza kulia, tunaanza kulia hapana. Mungu analeta hali kuweza kutuinua. Amen. So today I want us to check again another point. Nataka tukapate kuangalia hatua nyingine. Na hiyo hatua nyingine in the storm. The benefit of the storm in the storm. The Lord is there with us. Ndani ya mawimbi Mungu ako pamoja nasi. Let us check in the book of Mark chapter 4 verse 35. Mariko 4 mstari wa 35 inasema hivi Siku ile kulipokuwa jioni akawaambia na tuvuke mpaka ngambo tuvuke mpaka ngambo wakauacha waka mkutano waka wakamwachia vile vile alivyo katika chombo na vyombo vingine vilikuwako pamoja naye ikatokea dhoruba kuu ya upepo mawimbi yakapiga ya chombo hata kika, kikaanza kuzama maji naye mwenyewe alikuwapo katika sheti amelala juu ya mto wakamwamsha wakamwambia mwalimu si kitu kwako kuwa tuangamia akaamka akasema akakemea aka upepo akaiambia bahari nyamaza utulie upepo ukakoma ukawa shwari kuu akawaambia mbona mumekuwa waoga hamuna imani bado wakaingiwa na hofu kuu wakaambiana ni nani huyu basi hata upepo una wa bahari wa mti amen kwa hivyo tunataka tuangalie another point hatua nyingine ni kwamba ndani ya mawimbi ndani ya dhoruba ndani ya shida ile ambayo tuko ndani hatuko peke yetu tuko na Mungu ndani yetu kwa sababu ameturuhusu tuingie ndani na wakorinto wa kwanza kumi, kumi na tatu anasema hivi anasema ya kwamba E, jaribu alikuwapata nyinyi lenye awezi amwezi kustahimili na katika kila jaribu kuna mlango Mungu ametengeneza mlango ya kutokea so kila jaribu mahali popote ambapo tumeingiwa tumeingia ndani jaribu lolote tatizo lolote limetupata Mungu yuko pamoja nasi maana ni Mungu anafungua mlango so hapa tunaona ya kwamba Yesu Kristo 
anawatoa wanafunzi wake mahali ambapo walikuwa mahali ambapo walikuwa wamezoea maisha ambao walikuwa wamezoea watu ambao walikuwa wamewazoea anawaambia na twende mpaka ngambo ile nyingine what does it mean the lord needs us to raise he needs us to raise us he needs us to go to another level mungu anataka tukaweze kwenda kwa hatua nyingine hataki tukae mahali pamoja wa kristo lakini watu tumezoea mahali pamoja kila kitu ni ile ile umekutana na wale watu hao ndio unajiona nao friends you have only one friend around you watu ambao wanakushifu kila sasa ingine pata watu ambao wanakushifu wanakukashifu let us give a, I have a best people that will give us a challenge watu ambao wanakukashifu watu ambao wanakupinga katika mambo yako ah watu ndio wanakusaidia not people that always they are beating your shoulders wanakuambia hapo hongera 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 no tunataka changamoto challenges napokuja zinatusaidia ku grow so ndio nakuta kwamba Jesus wakati ametazama hawa watu akawaambia kwamba now nataka tuende ngambo ile nyingine let us move to another level Christ needs us to move to another level so akawaambia twenen twenendeni ngambo ile nyingine so wakati walipoingia na akaenda nao akaingia ndani ya mle chombo akaingia na akakaa nyuma na akapumzika akalala so when they were in the midst of the sea doruba zikaanza kukuja storms came and when the storms came mambo ikaanza kubadilika yesu akiwa nyuma amelala kabisa usingizi ameenda lakini these guys they are struggling with the storms and jesus is there and this is what the benefit of storms the storms when we are in we are not alone we are with jesus christ shida yoyote ambayo unapitia wa huko peke yako uko na Yesu Kristo so Yesu Kristo alikuwa ndani maana yeye ndiye amesema twende ngambo ile nyingine yeye ndiye anataka kukuvukisha yeye ndiye anataka kukuinua yeye ndiye anajua ni wapi unaenda anakuacha anakutoa huku akikupeleka katika hatua nyingine even go to abraham he told abraham abraham toka hapa enda huko kwingine mahali mimi mwenyewe najua So when God speaks let us move he knows where he's taking you. Hallelujah. He knows the direction he knows your destiny. Ndio anakuambia wacha hii toka enda hii. Na Abraham angekusema nimejenga nyumba kwa baba yangu hapa kwetu niko na hii niko na hii niko na he has all good good things. He has all good friends there. But he has to leave all the friends and go according to the word of of God and that was also it was part of the storms in the life of abraham because anapojiangalia anaona i am leaving my parents i am leaving my colleagues i am leaving my blo- my belongings so i am going alone to a place that i don't know this thing it will hit you itakusumbua kwa akili so huyu mtu ananiambia niende tu it's like now you are being burned you are told you, come to christ you are come and be get born again You are you are going to receive Christ and the other side you are told wachana na ile kaka biashara unafanya. Pengine unaona ba. Haleluya. Unaona ba unaambiwa wachana na hiyo biashara kuja kwa Yesu uanze. Utafikiria nini? Utaona pana. Hii ni ngumu. So itabidi uendelee na yale maisha yako. But Yesu Kristo aliwatoa wale wanafunzi wake akawaambia twendeni. Na walipo alipowatoa wakaanza safari walipoanza safari mawimbi yakapatikana mule ndani mawimbi yanapopatikana mule ndani sasa wanashindwa tufanye nini they had to call jesus christ this is another point of brethren when things are bad please you have know that you have christ in those storms uko na yesu ndani ya hiyo shida muite yesu yuko hapo hapo call upon him Unataka hapo muita ndio ataitika lakini ukinyamaza utaendelea kungangana na hiyo mawimbi ambao uko ndani yako shida ambao uko ndani nayo utaendelea kungangana nayo kwa sababu uja muita some of us we are struggling with our problem with our storms because we are not even calling Christ we are not taking it to prayer we are not even sharing with other brethren we are listen tunataka tukufe peke yetu no call Jesus Christ when you call Jesus Christ he will now arise and stop the storm 
na wakati alipo ainuka aliweza kusema nini alisema upepo nyamaza na akakemea na bahari ikatulia na hawa wapendwa wakavuka ngambo ile nyingine so this is another point we have seen today that in the storm and this is a benefit of the storm the in the storm we have Jesus Christ in whatever problem we are passing or you are going through there is Christ is inside it that's the benefit of it brethren we are not battling it alone we are not fighting alone we have somebody who is fighting for us and again in Matthew it says 28 verse 20 2022 20, that anasema aje anasema i will be with you nitakuwa pamoja na wewe mpaka mwisho wa dahari sitakuacha sitakupungukia yesu ameahidi ya kwamba hata iwe wakati mbaya iwe wakati mgumu iwe wakati mzuri ako pamoja nasi atatuachilia kwa hivyo wewe ambao unapitia hali ngumu usiwe na shaka usiwe na wasiwasi you are not alone you are with jesus christ he is there and god bless you let us pray Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord my God. We bless even your word, Almighty God, that, Lord, we have shared, Lord my Father. I thank you, Lord my Father, for your people who have listened, Lord my Father, to this word. We pray that, Lord my Father, may you help them, Lord my Father, to come out of this storm, Lord my Father, that, Lord, they are passing through, Lord my Father, Lord. I pray that, Lord, may you deliver them, Lord my Father, Lord. May you remove them inside, Lord my Father. Let them, Lord, come out, Lord. Lord my God and go to another side other side Lord my God in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you Lord we bless you Jesus Christ in Jesus name na uko hapo na unataka kuokoka uko hapo unasema kwamba nataka Yesu Kristo pia unaweza tunaweza omba pamoja na wewe sema bwana Yesu ninakupokea naja kwako mimi mwenye dhambi na unisamee dhambi zangu na nimeamini nimeokoka amen na kama umeomba na umeamini basi hivyo umepata kuokoka na amini umeokoka utafute kanisa ambalo unaweza enda na utafute mchungaji ambaye ataenda kukusaidia otherwise bwana akubariki sana na kwa majina naitwa pastor bonface deba kutoka ifc slam tasia pale kwa ndege bwana awabariki sana amen